You know, when I set out to do this vlog, I thought it was going to be a weekly thing. And I still would like it to be a weekly thing. But, I'm not going to lie. I did not foresee January 2021 being the craziest month of my life. In classic fashion, it is 4.22 in the morning right now. And I've been putting off work all week. There's something about this pandemic just dragging months and months and months on where simultaneously I feel full of energy and full of desire to do things and so burnt out. I thought this vlog was gonna come out on Saturday, it's Monday. Like obviously I posted the video from the Capitol, that was a crazy day. But the fallout from that has just been so much more than I ever could have imagined. And so it has been a really wild month to say the least. I'm not getting sued, which is great. I feel like America had already smacked me in the face once this year, and so that was cool to get another smack from OAN. After two weeks going through the copyright process with YouTube, it was clear that OAN's claim was not substantiated, or at least they weren't willing to back that up with a lawsuit, and so the video is back up, and we're grateful for that. They did manage to successfully halt its momentum, but you know, a lot of people were still able to see it. The FBI showed up at my house. That was crazy. I guess I'll do a story time for that, because I feel like I should. Walter and I are filming a sketch in my apartment, something silly, and we hear this big menacing knock, like a We don't answer, because we're finishing the sketch. And then it happens again. We get another leg. So I come to the door right here just to like look out and my roommate has answered the door and it's three men in plain clothes and they go, Peter Scottini and Walter Masterson. I have a million thoughts raised through my head. One, why are they asking for both Walter and I? Two, I've gotten a couple threats since I put out that DC video and I was like, who is outside my house right now? Because you don't think three grown men in plain clothes are gonna be agents of the government. But I think they saw the fear of God in my eyes. They pull out their badges. They introduce themselves as two agents of the FBI and one officer of the NYPD and asked if they could come inside. And of course we said yes. We talked to them for about an hour. We are not in any trouble, but that was super weird. Walter is giving them tips on how to infiltrate Trump rallies. What is really funny is while they were here, I literally was like, Hi, the inner content creator in me would really like to take a little bit of video of this. Would you mind if I took footage of this? And they were like, no, you should not be talking about this on the internet. As they say that, I'm like, yes, yes, of course. Never, never. I, I won't talk about it. Of course not. And I'm still thinking like, of course I'm going to talk about this on the internet. Of course. Not to mention the fact that Walter, within 30 seconds of them being out of my apartment, was on his live being like, the FBI just contacted Peter and I. <laughs> The best part though, the best, most surreal part of all of this is one of them is like, so I got an Instagram for my dog. How do I get it to do better? So I'm giving tips to this man on how to get more engagement for his dog's Instagram while they're in our apartment conducting an investigation. Crazy, crazy. Lawsuit, FBI, not on my 2021 bingo card. No, I guess I didn't get sued. So I don't have bingo, which you know, <laughs> I'm okay with. Otherwise, life has kind of resumed as normal. It's still cold out in New York. Dude, it's like 30 degrees. Don't you want to put on a jacket? No, I'm not, not brainwashed by the coat industry. Thank you. I'm trying to film stuff with people. The, the coat industry? Aren't you worried about getting hypothermia? You know what? If you look at the statistics for hypothermia, uh, most of those people were wearing coats. Hey, hey, hey! I heard our friend took a short on GameStop. I don't want to talk about that. Oh, what, what, what? It's been a rough day? Yeah, I, I said I don't want to talk about it. Are we just going to talk about uh, his Rolex? Um, okay. We're not talking about impeachment or anything? All right. We're not calling them uh, terrorists anymore. We're calling them patriots. Okay, so the patriots stormed the Capitol. They were just concerned. Okay, concerned citizens storm the Capitol. Really? All right, uh, it kind of feels weird. I'm trying to have fun and do collaborative things. And triple duty. Yeah, fil yeah film it. Like, <laughs> body around. Around, jazz hands, nice. Sometimes people are like, why did you move back to New York? And I was like, I don't know, I just really love the ambiance. Are the rumors true that you're in the pocket of big cheese? <laughs> That's my update for you. I'm gonna try and actually upload on a schedule going forward on this vlog because a schedule will help me actually get it done. Until then, I hope wherever this finds you, it finds you happy, healthy, in a good state of mind. I hope you're doing okay. I'm doing okay, and I appreciate everyone's kind words, your support. If you feel so inclined, there are links down below of other places you can support me. 
in the meantime, stay golden. What is that? I don't know. Stay golden. Yeah, that's that's the video. That's 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 the video. How's your 2021 going thus far?